There's no denying the popularity of 4x4 utes these days. Double cab utes, they're functional for the family. You can take them onto the work site, throw your camping gear into the back, whatever you want to do. The versatility is unrivaled. But they do have their limitations, and that is capacity. That's where these big fellas come in. The big guns of utes, the American pickup truck. Now, when you start talking about American pickup trucks, you're really talking about the three big American manufacturers, Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler. And we've lined up their three big trucks here, the 2500 Heavy Duties, the Ram Laramie 2500, the GMC Denali 2500, and the Ford F250. They are the big hitters in that market, and despite their $120,000 price tags in Australia, they're becoming more popular, particularly with people who like to tow heavy loads. The Ford F250 and the GMC Denali, they're $152,000 each. Whereas the Ram, that's about $140,000. So they're expensive trucks, but these are full-on luxury vehicles. They've got heated leather air-conditioned seats inside, sat navigation, power sunroof, full-on safety features that you find in top-end European cars. So you can see why people are spending big money on them. They're also hugely popular with people that are towing. So Aussies are getting these when they want to tow a big horse float, big boat, that sort of stuff. And they're pretty good out here in the bush as well. While they're all pretty similar vehicles in the same price range, they're quite unique as well. They're all built to the American pickup truck formula with ladder frame chassis, big body shells, but they have their little bits of difference. The Ram here, for example, that is a six cylinder engine from Cummins. 6.7 litres, turbo diesel, bucket loads of torque. And underneath, this thing's got coil springs front and rear. Live axles, but four coils all the way around. So it's different from the other two trucks. The GMC Denali, on the other hand, it uses a V8 turbo diesel engine. 6.6 .6 litres in capacity. Underneath, leaf spring live axle at the back independent with coils at the front. So a bit more like the utes we're used to, our Hiluxes and Rangers and so forth. Once we get over here to the F250, different again. Turbo diesel V8 once more, 6.7 litres in this instance, live axles front and rear, coils on the front, leaf springs under the back. Real supple suspension, works nice over the bumps. It's proven to be a good contender here in the off-road stuff. So we've got three big American trucks. They all tow well, they've all got plenty of space inside, but they're all different in their own little way. The GMC, that's got the best on-road handling, and also that Allison transmission is fantastic. The Ford stonking V8, that thing is a powerhouse. And off-road, it seems to be the best. It really supple in the suspension and chassis. And then the Ram, that's a great all-rounder. It does everything right. It's not the best at steering, it's not the best, most powerful, but it does everything right. So it really comes down to which one's going to be your personal preference and what your budget is.